Hello everyone. Today I want to make a Dollar Tree wooden cross into something really pretty um, using Crackle. It's some um, Art Deco weathered wood, I believe it's called. I did not know I had it. I went through a box of old paint that I got at a yard sale one time and I found that in there and I thought, hey, why not? Now, before when I did not know that I had this stuff, um, I had learned how to use glue. I remembered from school that you could use glue to use the, get the crackle effect also. So on one side of this, I'm going to use the crackle. On the other side, I'm going to use regular, plain, white school glue. So, and you can see in this video I'm talking, well, I ran into a copyright issue on YouTube. So I have to do a voiceover. It was because of a song that was playing in the background. So live and learn, right? But I don't, my videos aren't monetized. So I do not receive any money for anything. So I don't know why it became an issue. I didn't do it for the money. I suppose YouTube did. So that was their issue, not mine. However, here we go. So anyways, you pick a base color. This is a color that's going to come through your crackle. I chose a dark type, like a walnut, but except I mix my own paints usually because I don't, I don't have the money to just run out and buy, you know, I'm going to go get, you know, four or five things of paint today, even if they are only a buck or 50 cents or whatever they are. I just don't have the money to run out and do that whenever. So, um, when I go to the store for groceries or whatever, I pick up what I need at that time. So anyways, I'm sanding around after the paint completely dries. Do not try to put crackle on wet paint. Let it completely dry. Um, so I sanded around the edges, took off some of the roughness and there's, there's a few rough, um, pieces of splintery wood there. Um, that I'm going to start sanding on and I was actually telling you about always go with the grain of the wood never you know if it's going to be seen you never sand in a circle when you use your sandpaper keep your sandpaper flat don't you know put it on its side and and rub real hard because you go right into whatever it is you're sanding so you're always going lightly even if you see me fold my sandpaper up and go like that it's never hard. I never push hard on the sandpaper. So I think there I'm using 180 grit just to knock down some of the edges and some of the splinters. I do make a little design in here as I was telling you. Even if you don't have anything, you know, even if you just want the natural wood look, you can make it look cool with sandpaper also. But anyway, so you, you have your base coat. You're going to put your crackle on there follow the directions you um, wipe it on it, it tells you you can go thick or thin and, it, and that'll um, decide how the the cracks turn out whether they're big cracks or little cracks I used a medium amount which I don't know how to tell you what a medium amount is I just uh, put it on there and hoped for the best the crackle side turned out with smaller crackles than the blue side did but both sides were beautiful so anyways if you can't afford to go out and buy an expensive bottle of crackle buy a I have a 25 cent um, bottle of glue I got from a pharmacy I marked them down for for a dollar so you don't have to have a lot of money to craft it helps I mean it'd be great I'd love to go out and just buy a bunch of uh, expensive stuff but anyways here I'm showing you that it looks really cool you can make different designs on it with your sandpaper you know then you just varnish over top of that or you know clear coat but anyway I chose seafoam green for my top coat and it turned out to be such a beautiful um such a beautiful project that I wanted to share it obviously it was gonna share it but sometimes I change my mind about stuff after after I'm done. So anyway, you're gonna add the crackle and it says to wait one hour. So you let that sit on there for one hour 
and then, which is very important, that you keep the time. With the glue, you wait 20, 25 minutes. You don't have to wait that long. So with the glue, I recommend if you want the small crackles, the small um, lines in your uh, paint, that you use a very thin coat. You wait 20 to 25 minutes, and then you'll apply your paint. So you'll see here in a minute, after I'm done talking here, I was, I think I was just, I have no idea what I was talking about, but I did want you to hear it. That's what bothers me is that I did this video so that I could actually uh, do some therapeutic talking. But it is what it is. So, anyway, eventually I'm going to get to the crackle. <laughs> there it is. Uh, yeah, so anyways, I read the directions like twice or three times. So, you lay it on in a, in a medium thickness. And then you let it set for an hour. Then, when you go to put your, um, your next layer on, your next paint on, you... Do not push down with your brush. You just kind of drop the paint on it and you're kind of spreading the paint. If you push your brush down in, you will move the crackle and you don't want to do that or the glue. So, so here I am. Uh, however much I got on there was perfect <laughs> because it turned out really good. The crackle was really, really good. Um, the glue, I think I got a little bit too much but it still is beautiful. So yeah, so one hour later, you're gonna add your paint. And it's very important that you know, before you start this project, do I have an hour to wait? Because, you know, a lot of times I go to do something and then I'm like, oh darn it, I gotta go up and make supper. So, I go up, or I can't do it, I have to um, finish my project, and then my husband says, hey, where's my supper? Why are you downstairs again? You know, so just make sure you have an hour to wait, then uh, you'll see how beautiful it turns out, that it's worth the wait. I can use this time to tell you that was me making sure my brushes were clean. This is funny because it's funny because I was talking. I wanted you to hear what I had to say. I was, I was telling this story. Okay, this container right here is from the Dollar Tree. I believe it's Rubbermaid or is it Betty Crocker? It's Betty Crocker. But um, that's not a good container for paint because especially if you shake it, like you want to shake your paint up. This is. This is regular latex paint, it's not acrylic. This came, this is a house paint. Um, like I said, it came from the uh, Ace Hardware. Now look, I'm, I'm going in, in straight, up and down streaks. Do not push, um, you're just spreading your paint. That's all you're doing. Start off at the top and pull it downward. Don't worry about your sides. Do not worry about the sides. Once you get it on there, stop messing with it. See, I left a little spot there. It tells you to, um, it tells you to touch up immediately. So, meaning it's going to start to do what it does immediately. So, if you have some blank spots on there, drop a little dot of glue in it. Don't use your brush. Once you're done, you're done. So, there I'm showing you why that container is no good. It gets up on the top and then when you take that off, you've got all this dried paint around the edges and it drops into your paint. So I do not recommend using those for paint. So, and this is before I had my tripod for my camera, so I don't really have a, a wonderful view. So um, you let that dry, obviously, before you do the backside. And when you do the backside, um, I'm gonna use the glue. A finger painter. When I have a glob on the side, I spread it around. I don't wipe it off, I spread it. So, kind of not wasting paint, I guess. Here, 
actually I showed you it was already cracked, but maybe not, it's only been like four minutes. So me in my pajamas, you will always see me in my pajamas. My pajamas and I get along very well. Like I said, I was talking the whole time. I never meant for this video to be voiced over. Here I was saying, hey, did you guys get any of these um, dried flowers from the Dollar Tree? I'd only seen them one time. And they are awesome. So I seen them one, other, one more time after this video. And I grabbed another one. But I think I have three or four of them. Little sets of dried flowers. Okay, so I'm showing you. Look how pretty this turned out. Alright, so now I'm doing the back side. Regular white school glue. That's all you need. And you're going to basically, you're going to do it the same way. So if you can see, yeah, I've shown you that. Those lines I made with the sandpaper were gone. You don't see those anymore, so it was a waste of time. So this amount of school glue was a little bit too much. And as you can see, that's not really a lot. But so you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna spread it down, watch your brush strokes. I'm gonna say that every video I ever make, I'm gonna say, watch your brush strokes. It's going crazy over here. So, um, yeah, this will, this will, and see, I put more glue on it. I did not need to do that. You don't have to see the glue. I thought I had to see the glue, but you don't. I've done another, I don't, I've done another two projects since then. You do not have to be able to see it, just so you know it's there. And then on this, you're only waiting 20 to 25 minutes. You're not waiting very long. I think I googled when I use glue how long I have to wait. And boy, I did a lot of scrolling to try to get that information. So, you know, Google is great, but sometimes it doesn't, you know, it's not a uh, human being. It doesn't get you right to the point. I have a drawing of my favorite job. don't push just drop the glue on so once you get the glue on there then you're just going to spread it you're just kind of pulling it I mean I'm all interested in my own video here but anyways just just pull it around um, and like I said don't worry about the sides yet you have plenty of time later to worry about the sides and the hole at the top. You can redo your hole. I used an exacto knife to um, remove the hole. Or I mean, open the hole back up. I actually messed around a little bit too much with this. Put your paint on, turn your back to it, walk away. And I had a lot of paint on there too, which I like. I liked putting a lot of paint on there. It was very satisfying, that color is so pretty. I don't know how to explain it to you. It was just satisfying putting that, that blue paint on there and just pulling it around. See here, I'm wiping off the container because it gets up under there in that lid. Clean up. I told you not to worry about the sides, but if the excess paint, I had so much of it there. Just make sure you do not touch the top at all. Um, I shouldn't have been doing this. This was if I would have slipped and went up on the top, I would have messed something up there. But you don't want to mess something up. I have too much paint, just straight up, too much paint on there. As satisfying as it was, it's just a little bit too much. But um, I have a bad habit. I probably had. There's probably a dog here in my paint. I I swear, my dogs jump up here and just um, oh handfuls of hair up here but you know that doesn't happen but somehow or another the dog that doesn't even come downstairs her hair is up here more than the white dogs so anyway put the paint on leave it alone don't touch it I touch 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 with the brush sometimes and I mess stuff up that should have already started to crackle but I just had so much paint on it 
So I, I think as the glue dries underneath the paint, that's what causes it to separate, causes the crackle effect. So anyway. Anyways, now you're waiting for paint to dry. So however long, I, you know, I don't know for sure how long it takes paint to dry. Um, but you don't, you know, you're, you're, it's a finished project. So you're just waiting for that paint to dry. And then um, I'm going to show you how to put a couple um, hula skirts from the Dollar Tree. I, I bought a thing about two, but they were children's sized hula skirts. And I used the paper ribbon, I guess, the raffia, whatever you call it. Oh, there I showed you my boy Leo. My boy Leo laying on the floor. He's got to be wherever mom is. Oh, yeah, now I'm telling you, I don't know why my stomach sticks out so much. I don't even eat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, too funny. But I do, I'm very self-conscious about it. I know it shows up on the video like looks like I'm pregnant. I'm not, trust me. Okay, so anyways, I use my my knockoff knife here to uh, cut the center out. I don't know why the blade falls out. It's It was tight. It does it all the time to me though. Anyway, so I cut the paint out of the center and then I give it a little bit of a of a brush up with the, uh, with the, uh, with the paint, because, you know, you can see the brown down there, which didn't make much difference, because I'm going to put some twine in there anyway, so, yeah, so, okay, you see, that's my glue side right there, see how big those cracks are, I really like it. So I just started twisting the raffia, and I know I go off of the uh, screen here a couple times. I just, um, I used Eileen's Tacky Glue from the Dollar Tree, and I, I twist it in my thumb, my finger, and then as I'm going around in a circle, I put that glue, that tacky glue on there, and then um, just keep rolling, and twist and roll, twist and roll, and... You know, I put a little spot of the glue up there, and then I use a toothpick, or a, that's a skewer, the tip of a skewer that I used on something else. Um, just go around in a circle until it's as big as you want it to be. And then um, I'm going to make some flower petals, and I'm going to do six, and then roll another piece of the, uh, the ribbon, and then um, put that on top of the... You know the center of the flower on top of the six petals then I want to make another six petals and put another piece on top of that so I'm going to add some background music to this uh, video which I don't have right now so it's uncomfortable silence if I stop talking but I'm going to add some background music and that'll, that'll do it um, thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video Please give me a like and a thumbs up, and maybe someday I can get the copyright infringement for real. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but I would like to be monetized at some point. I don't like the idea that YouTube gets to make money off of me before I uh, ever make any money myself. But I guess that's the way the world works. So the more likes I get, the more views I get the closer I can get to monetiza monetization and um, you know maybe this old lady won't have to go back to work I uh, am actually uh, disabled of course the government doesn't recognize that that I'm disabled but um, I can't stand on my feet for more than I don't know 20-30 minutes I can't sit for more than 20 or 30 minutes, so I have to be able to stand up, sit down. I can't push or pull heavy stuff. I can't. There's just so many things. I don't have any vertebrae left in my neck. It's all cages now. My back's following suit. Um, my knees are gone. I need the surgery, but they want to wait until I'm older because those uh, replacements only last for 15, 10, 15 years. So I'm 55. They want me to wait until... I'm 65, but they say 60, but I'm not going to make it, I can just tell you that right now, so.